sacrifice the light of your face. I would pay any price, and as I lay down my life, and let this be my sacrifice, the light of your face. I would pay any price, and as I lay down my life, and let this be my sacrifice, the light of your face. of surrender, whatever that look, looks like for you, if that's on your knees, on your face, with your hands raised, for those of you at home, you can get this too, so just with every hand raised, or whatever place of surrender you choose to be, let's just sit at his feet and worship him. Jesus, Jesus, we worship you, Jesus.
you Jesus focus your eyes on his face when we sit at your table when we worship you Jesus when we sit at your table when we worship you Jesus We sit at your table and we worship you, Jesus. And we sit at your table. Everybody sing it. Can we sit at your table? Can we worship you, Jesus? Can we sit at your table? Can we worship you, Jesus? Worship you. to the table. And as I lay down my life and let this be my sacrifice Just come to the, the table. Just come place, to the table. I would pay any price. Let's go after this. And as I lay down my life and let this be my sacrifice the light of your place I would pay any price. Come and sit at his feet. lay down my life Come and sit at his feet. And let this be an anointing here right now of a deep place, a deep place of intimacy. It's a different anointing. It's a different anointing than what you might have been tasting in the last few days. But it's an anointing of a spirit of intimacy for the deep calls on the deep place in the heart of God that we can come like Mary right now and sit at his feet. And I'm saying the altars are open if you want to come and sit at the table. You want to come and sit at the feet of Jesus right now and really go after this. But there's an intimacy realm of glory that's coming down tonight. Something about the holy, holy presence. 
presence of the Lamb of God as we feast with him tonight at his table. And he restores my soul. It's a prophetic promise that God is releasing right now. It's an oil to restore your soul in your living rooms all over the world. You're watching on God TV tonight. Let your living room be transformed into a place where you can come like Mary and break open the alabaster box and let the house be filled with the fragrant oil of worship. Lord, it's an anointing like Mary. Can we just go after this tonight? We're just singing and declaring Psalms 23 and we're saying he's restoring our soul tonight. My cup is running over. He's giving me a table tonight and my table is in the presence of my enemies so my enemies can see the favor of God on me tonight. Just come forward out of your seats and just come to the feet of Jesus right now. Come to the feet of Jesus right now. I'm asking you to come forward and just get at the feet of Jesus. Get on your face before the throne of God and let this let that glory come. Hallelujah. 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 We just want it tonight, God. The deep, the deep place, the deep place. very feet of God, the very feet of Jesus, we bring our sacrifice, God we break open the box, it's a fragrant oil of worship, a deep place into the very heart of God, we can go deeper tonight church, we can go deeper in Tom God, we can go deeper in South Africa, we can go deeper in your living room tonight, we can go deeper wherever you're watching tonight, I want you to go deeper. Come to the very table tonight. It's a table in the presence of your enemies. It's a banqueting table. It's a house of wine. And we're going to feast. We're going to feast with the king. And we're going to drink the wine. We're going to eat the milk. We're going to eat the honey. Come to the table. Oh, the table. Just worship Jesus. an oil here, restoring your soul tonight. Get it on you. God, pour out that oil. Jesus. No evil. No evil. Worship me, 
Jesus, King of Kings. Sit at your table. We just drink tonight. We just want you to pour out that spirit of intimacy. How many of you want to go into the deep place, into the heart of God, the deeper place? going to restore your soul. I'm here watching tonight and you're burned out, broken, tired, discouraged. You're in a place right now. God, restore my soul. This is an hour of restoration. This is an hour of God's favor and acceptance. This is an hour of promotion and increase. An hour of rising out and breaking out and coming back and recovering all that was lost. This is an hour of the mercy and an hour of the goodness of God. And it's an anointing that's being poured out. You just come to the table, the table of the Lord, the banqueting table, the house of wine tonight. And you come and you dine with him. Him, and he will dine with you. We're going to sit at his very feet and we're going to worship him like Mary. We just love you tonight, oh God. Tell him we love you. We worship you, Jesus. living rooms. May the very oil of heaven come into your living rooms. The fragrant oil, the very garment, the very perfume of his garments. Like Jesus walking into the room tonight. There's something of intimacy to grab a hold of. There's something we can break open in the spirit tonight in the realm of glory, in the realm of the presence of God. Don't be satisfied. Let's be hungry tonight and say, God, I want another wave. I want another wave of glory. I want another wave of glory. The most notable, remarkable miracles are going to come. Another level of the fear of the Lord and creative miracles are going to come when we break through into a place where we say, God, it's not just about miracle signs and wonders, but it's about the very glory presence of Jesus. If we don't have the glory of God, the manifest glory of God, then all we're doing is having another meeting. And we didn't come to have another meeting. And we haven't been having other meetings. We've been, God has been moved moving moving in this place but I just sense tonight that there's a deeper place that we can all go if you're hungry with me tonight for the glory of God we can eat we can drink we can have intimacy at his table tonight and we can have as much as we want the Bible says Mary would sit at his feet and hear his sayings there's something about the voice of God being released in intimacy revelation released in intimacy that comes out of sitting at his feet you might be here tonight because you need a miracle there's a lot of people here tonight that need miracles people that have never been in a meeting like this before and you're saying who's that on the platform that's our worship leader, Chelsea Reagan, part of our ministry team. We just brought her in from America. She got off on an airplane, just connected with this band for the first time, and she's jumped right into bringing us into the heart of God. Hallelujah. This bringing us into the heart of God. Let's just go there tonight. There's an anointing that's been coming in our meetings when we sing this song. 
an anointing of mercy and goodness, an anointing of restoration. These anointings in Psalms 23, they're being released. up he's pouring it out he's pouring out the oil he's pouring out the wine just pouring it out it's coming into the room like honey let it be the dew of his presence the very dew Lord let it be the cream the butter let it be the oil and the wine the mighty wind and the fire let it be the floods and the rivers. Jesus, it's so good. It's your mercy and your goodness. So follow me all the days of my life. It's the banqueting table and it's in the presence of my enemies. My enemies can see me at his table with the oil of God's favor on me. And we're sitting at his table at his feet like Mary. And we're listening to your voice, God. this room Holy Spirit let the glory of God Spirit of God hovering like a glory canopy God that canopy of glory reaching into every home it's not just a healing revival but the glory presence of Jesus that's what's being poured out we're under a cloud we're under a cloud of his glory we're drinking, we're feasting. Just worship you, Jesus. Just worship you, Jesus. Every person tonight. In the balconies tonight. Just worship. We worship you, Jesus. 
You're feeling that presence of God. You're feeling something many of you have never felt before. And he's pouring out hope. And he's pouring out love. And he's pouring out mercy. And he's pouring out goodness for those that are thirsty and tired and weak and burned out. This is an hour of restoration. This is an hour of the oil of his goodness and mercy. This is an hour of the oil of his favor. The light of his countenance that's being released on you tonight. Can you stand in that glory? How long? How long can you stand in that glory? How long can you go, church? How much is the Lamb of God worth it? How much is the Lamb of God? Oh, the Lamb. How many of you want to see a realm of the Lamb of God on His throne come into this place, uh, into every living room? The Lamb of God. Every nation watching the Lamb of God, the Holy Lamb coming into your living room right now. There's something of a brand new, a fresh anointing tonight of going into a deeper place uh, in these meetings, uh, a deeper place in worship, a deeper place in the heart of God. Oh, reach out for it. Reach out for it. So hungry, God. We worship. We worship Jesus. Every time it's got my heart it's got my heart tonight every time we sing that song I just can't stop I start moving into such a deep place in the very heart of God I start touching a realm in the secret place a place in the Holy Spirit sometimes for an hour we'll just sing sit at your table and worship you, Jesus. Just before the very throne of God. You've never felt it. Lift your hands up and the Holy Spirit is touching people. He's pouring it out. There's people in this room. You've never been in a meeting like this. We have Christians here. We have Hindus here. We have Muslims here. We have skeptics, unbelievers here. We have people that are lost, prodigal sons and daughters. People watching this broadcast. 214 nations. Many living rooms right now. You've turned into a place where you can soak and you can wait on the Lord. And people are getting touched and healed. There's a realm of miracles and power and authority coming tonight. There's a realm of signs and wonders that are showing up in this meeting tonight that you're going to receive even as you're watching. But there's something about capturing the heart of God and saying, God, I want to walk with you like Adam. I want to walk with you like Enoch. I want to walk with you like Moses and speak to God face to face as a friend speaks to a friend. How many of you are satisfied with the face of God? It's the presence of Jesus and God. Sacrifice. I want to I want to lay down my life. Be a sacrifice. Can you do that tonight? Just present yourself a living body. Just surrender again. All over the world, do it. In front of your televisions in the living room. Just sing it again.
come to the table. The table in the wilderness. He prepares a table for me in the presence of my enemies. Devil, devil, I'm at the table. I'm at the table. In his oil, his goodness, his mercy, his healing, his restoration is coming to me. All over the room, get ready. All over the room, watching in your living rooms. Father, Father, let the anointing deep calls on to deep, spirit of intimacy, the deeper realms of glory be released right now. There's an anointing, it's an impartation. Grab it in the room tonight. Something's breaking open in the presence of God. Breaking open. And another wave. Another wave of glory. Another wave. Pay any price. Pay any price. Drink at your table. We drink at your table. We eat. We feast at your table. You're sitting at his feet. In your heart, in your heart, you're sitting at his feet. You sit at your table, God. We worship you, Jesus. Restore my soul. There's an anointing tonight if you're watching me. That's a word from heaven. He's going to restore your soul. He's going to restore your soul. It's an anointing right now for those that are broken in their hearts all over this room. It's not just an anointing for healing in your body, but I just felt for the first time in all these days that we've been here now, I just felt an anointing of His goodness, His mercy, His oil and His wine, and an oil come into this room that can restore you, restore your marriage. There's an anointing now restoring marriages, says the Lord. There's an anointing now restoring businesses, restoring relationships, fathers and sons and sons and daughters. There's an anointing right now, and it's restoring the fire. It's restoring the hunger and the passion. It's restoring the ministry. How many people need restoration? God, restore something that the devil has taken from you. God, can and give it back sevenfold. It's happening tonight. I'm telling you, this awakening, this revival is a picture of God's grace, 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 grace. It's a prophetic picture of what restoration, what grace, what goodness this looks like again and it's not just for me but it's for you you can grab a hold of it right now and let that oil come and restore restore your soul I'm telling you trauma trauma abuse brokenness in your heart a broken heart a broken spirit the love of God is here put your hand on your heart and in one moment in this atmosphere, I saw the Lord healing years of pain, shame, rejection. I see the wound of your heart. The love of God doing something in your heart, watching in your living rooms right now. I'm speaking a word that years of abuse, people that took advantage of you, even physically, they took advantage of your body. There's women that are being healed right now. And all those years of pain and fear and anxiety and depression, they're going. I speak a healing word because there's an anointing to bind up hearts that are broken. Take it. It's the oil and the wine. It's the oil and the wine. Sitting at his table, he's healing. 
grab a hold of it. This is a moment right now where there might be thousands, millions watching around the world and we're in worship. But this is, this is an encounter, a realm in which you're being invited into a place in the heart of God that you can go right now and you get there and He's going to touch you right now. He's going to take you out of the shadow of death and you're going to say, I fear no evil. He's going to take you into a place where He leads you by the still waters and He leads you into the green pastures and you declare, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. 